chapters seventeen through twenty two of the first book of the kings from the young's literal translation this librivox recording is in the public domain recording by mark penfold chapter seventeen and elijah the tishbite of the inhabitants of gilead saith unto ahab jehovah god of israel liveth before whom i have stood there is not these years dew and rain except according to my word and the word of jehovah is unto him saying go from this place and thou hast turned for thee eastward and been hidden by the brook cherith that is on the front of the jordan and it hath been from the brook thou dost drink and the ravens i have commanded to sustain thee there and he goeth and doth according to the word of jehovah yea he goeth and dwelleth by the brook cherith that is on the front of the jordan and the ravens are bringing to him bread and flesh in the morning and bread and flesh in the evening and of the brook he drinketh and it cometh to pass at the end of days that the brook drieth up for there hath been no rain in the land and the word of jehovah is unto him saying rise go to zarephath that is to zidon and thou hast dwelt there lo i have commanded there a widow woman to sustain thee and he riseth and goeth to zarephath and cometh in unto the opening of the city and lo there a widow woman gathering sticks and he calleth unto her and saith bring i pray thee to me a little water in a vessel and i drink and she goeth to bring it and he calleth unto her and saith bring i pray thee to me a morsel of bread in thy hand and she saith jehovah thy god liveth i have not a cake but the fullness of the hand of meal in a pitcher and a little oil in a dish and lo i am gathering two sticks and have gone in and prepared it for myself and for my son and we have eaten it and died and elijah saith unto her fear not go do according to thy word only make for me thence a little cake in the first place and thou hast brought out to me and for thee and for thy son make last for thus said jehovah god of israel the pitcher of meal is not consumed and the dish of oil is not lacking till the day of jehovah's giving a shower on the face of the ground and she goeth and doth according to the word of elijah and she eateth she and he and her household days the pitcher of meal was not consumed and the dish of oil did not lack according to the word of jehovah that he spake by the hand of elijah and it cometh to pass after these things the son of the woman mistress of the house hath been sick and his sickness is very severe till that no breath hath been left in him and she saith unto elijah what to me and to thee o man of god thou hast come unto me to cause mine iniquity to be remembered and to put my son to death and he saith unto her give to me thy son and he taketh him out of her bosom and taketh him up unto the upper chamber where he is abiding and layeth him on his own bed and crieth unto jehovah and saith jehovah my god also on the widow with whom i am sojourning hast thou done evil to put her son to death and he stretcheth himself out on the lad three times and calleth unto jehovah and saith o jehovah my god let turn back i pray thee the soul of this lad into his midst and jehovah hearkeneth to the voice of elijah and the soul of the lad turneth back into his midst and he liveth and elijah taketh the lad and bringeth him down from the upper chamber of the house and giveth him to his mother and elijah saith see thy son liveth and the woman saith unto elijah now this i have known that a man of god thou art and the word of jehovah in thy mouth is truth chapter eighteen and the days are many and the word of jehovah hath been unto elijah in the third year saying go appear unto ahab and i give rain on the face of the ground and elijah goeth to appear unto ahab and the famine is severe in samaria and ahab calleth unto obadiah who was over the house and obadiah hath been fearing jehovah greatly 
and it cometh to pass in jezebel's cutting off the prophets of jehovah that obadiah taketh a hundred prophets and hideth them fifty men in a cave and hath sustained them with bread and water and ahab saith unto obadiah go through the land unto all fountains of waters and unto all the brooks if so be we find hay and keep a live horse and mule and do not cut off any of the cattle and they apportion to themselves the land to pass over into it ahab hath gone in one way by himself and obadiah hath gone in another way by himself and obadiah is in the way and lo elijah to meet him and he discerneth him and falleth on his face and saith art thou he my lord elijah and he saith to him i am go say to thy lord lo elijah and he saith what have i sinned that thou art giving thy servant into the hand of ahab to put me to death jehovah thy god liveth if there is a nation and kingdom whither my lord hath not sent to seek thee and they said he is not then he caused the kingdom and the nation to swear that it doth not find thee and now thou art saying go say to thy lord lo elijah and it hath been i go from thee and the spirit of jehovah doth lift thee up whither i know not and i have come to declare to ahab and he doth not find thee and he hath slain me and thy servant is fearing jehovah from my youth hath it not been declared to my lord that which i have done in jezebel's slaying the prophets of jehovah that i hide of the prophets of jehovah a hundred men fifty by fifty in a cave and sustained them with bread and water and now thou art saying go say to my lord lo elijah and he hath slain me and elijah saith jehovah of hosts liveth before whom i have stood surely to-day i appear unto him and obadiah goeth to meet ahab and declareth it to him and ahab goeth to meet elijah and it cometh to pass at ahab's seeing elijah that ahab saith unto him art thou he the troubler of israel and he saith i have not troubled israel but thou and the house of thy father in your forsaking the commands of jehovah and thou goest after the baalim and now send gather unto me all israel unto the mount of carmel and the prophets of baal four hundred and fifty and the prophets of the shrine four hundred eating at the table of jezebel and ahab sendeth among all the sons of israel and gathereth the prophets unto the mount of carmel and elijah cometh nigh unto all the people and saith till when are ye leaping on the two branches if jehovah is god go after him and if baal go after him and the people have not answered him a word and elijah saith unto the people i i have been left a prophet of jehovah by myself and the prophets of baal are four hundred and fifty men and let them give to us two bullocks and they choose for themselves the one bullock and cut it in pieces and place it on the wood and place no fire and i i prepare the other bullock and have put it on the wood and fire i do not place and ye have called in the name of your god and i i call in the name of jehovah and it hath been the god who answereth by fire he is the god and all the people answer and say good is the word and elijah saith to the prophets of baal choose for you the one bullock and prepare first for ye are the multitude and call ye in the name of your god and place no fire and they take the bullock that one gave to them and prepare and call in the name of baal from the morning even till the noon saying o oh, baal answer us and there is no voice and there is none answering and they leap on the altar that one had made and it cometh to pass at noon that elijah playeth on them and saith <laughs> call with a loud voice for he is a god for he is meditating or pursuing or on a journey it may be he is asleep and doth awake <laughs> and they call with a loud voice and cut themselves according to their ordinance with swords and with spears till a flowing of blood is on them and it cometh to pass at the passing by of the noon that they feign themselves prophets till the going up of the present and there is no voice and there is none answering and there is none attending and elijah saith to all the people come nigh unto me 
and all the people come nigh unto him and he repaireth the altar of jehovah that is broken down and elijah taketh twelve stones according to the number of the tribes of the sons of jacob unto whom the word of jehovah was saying israel is thy name and he buildeth with the stones an altar in the name of jehovah and maketh a trench as about the space of two measures of seed round about the altar and he arrangeth the wood and cutteth in pieces the bullock and placeth it on the wood and saith fill ye four pitchers of water and pour on the burnt offering and on the wood and he saith do it a second time and they do it a second time and he saith do it a third time and they do it a third time and the water goeth round about the altar and also the trench he hath filled with water and it cometh to pass at the going up of the evening present that elijah the prophet cometh nigh and saith jehovah god of abraham isaac and israel to-day let it be known that thou art god in israel and i thy servant that by thy word i have done the whole of these things answer me o jehovah answer me and this people doth know that thou art jehovah god and thou hast turned their heart backward and there falleth a fire of jehovah and consumeth the burnt offering and the wood and the stones and the dust and the water that is in the trench it hath licked up and all the people see and fall on their faces and say jehovah he is the god jehovah he is the god and elijah saith to them catch ye the prophets of baal let not a man escape of them and they catch them and elijah bringeth them down unto the stream kishon and doth slaughter them there and elijah saith to ahab go up eat and drink because of the sound of the noise of the shower and ahab goeth up to eat and to drink and elijah hath gone up unto the top of carmel and he stretcheth himself out on the earth and he placeth his face between his knees and saith unto his young man go up i pray thee look attentively the way of the sea and he goeth up and looketh attentively and saith there is nothing and he saith turn back seven times and it cometh to pass at the seventh that he saith lo a little thickness as the palm of a man is coming up out of the sea and he saith go up say unto ahab bind and go down and the shower doth not restrain thee and it cometh to pass in the meantime that the heavens have become black thick clouds and wind and the shower is great and ahab rideth and goeth to jezreel and the hand of jehovah hath been on elijah and he girdeth up his loins and runneth before ahab till thine entering jezreel chapter nineteen and ahab declareth to jezebel all that elijah did and all how he slew all the prophets by the sword and jezebel sendeth a messenger unto elijah saying thus doth the gods and thus do they add surely about this time to-morrow i make thy life as the life of one of them and he feareth and riseth and goeth for his life and cometh into beersheba that is judah's and leaveth his young man there and he himself hath gone into the wilderness a day's journey and cometh and sitteth under a certain retem tree and desireth his soul to die and saith enough now o jehovah take my soul for i am not better than my father's and he lieth down and sleepeth under a certain retem tree and lo a messenger cometh against him and saith to him rise eat and he looketh attentively and lo at his bolster a cake bacon on burning stones and a dish of water and he eateth and drinketh and turneth and lieth down and the messenger of jehovah turneth back a second time and cometh against him and saith rise eat for the way is too great for thee and he riseth and eateth and drinketh and goeth in the power of that food forty days and forty nights unto the mount of god horeb and he cometh in there unto the cave and lodgeth there and lo the word of jehovah is unto him and saith to him what to thee hear elijah and he saith 
i have been very zealous for jehovah god of hosts for the sons of israel have forsaken thy covenant thine altars they have thrown down and thy prophets they have slain by the sword and i am left i by myself and they seek my life to take it and he saith go out and thou hast stood in the mount before jehovah and lo jehovah is passing by and a wind great and strong is rending mountains and shivering rocks before jehovah not in the wind is jehovah and after the wind a shaking not in the shaking is jehovah and after the shaking a fire not in the fire is jehovah and after the fire a voice still small and it cometh to pass at elijah's hearing it that he wrappeth his face in his robe and goeth out and standeth at the opening of the cave and lo unto him is a voice and it saith what to thee hear elijah and he saith i have been very zealous for jehovah god of hosts for the sons of israel have forsaken thy covenant thine altars they have thrown down and thy prophets they have slain by the sword and i am left i by myself and they seek my life to take it and jehovah saith unto him go turn back on thy way to the wilderness of damascus and thou hast gone in and anointed hazael for king over aram and jehu son of nimshi thou dost anoint for king over israel and elisha son of shaphat of abal mahola thou dost anoint for prophet in thy stead and it hath been him who is escaped from the sword of hazael put to death doth jehu and him who is escaped from the sword of jehu put to death doth elisha and i have left in israel seven thousand all the knees that have not bowed to baal and every mouth that hath not kissed him and he goeth thence and findeth elisha son of shaphat and he is ploughing twelve yoke are before him and he is with the twelfth and elijah passeth over unto him and casteth his robe upon him and he forsaketh the oxen and runneth after elijah and saith let me give a kiss i pray thee to my father and to my mother and i go after thee and he saith to him go turn back for what have i done to thee and he turneth back from after him and taketh the yoke of oxen and sacrificeth it and with instruments of the oxen he hath boiled their flesh and giveth to the people and they eat and he riseth and goeth after elijah and serveth him chapter twenty and ben hadad king of aram hath gathered all his force and thirty and two kings are with him and horse and chariot and he goeth up and layeth siege against samaria and fighteth with it and sendeth messengers unto ahab king of israel to the city and saith to him thus says ben hadad thy silver and thy gold are mine and thy wives and thy sons the best are mine and the king of israel answereth and saith according to thy word my lord o king i am thine and all that i have and the messengers turn back and say thus spake ben hadad saying surely i sent unto thee saying thy silver and thy gold and thy wives and thy sons to me thou dost give for if at this time to-morrow i send my servants unto thee then they have searched thy house and the houses of thy servants and it hath been every desirable thing of thine eyes they place in their hand and have taken away and the king of israel calleth to all the elders of the land and saith no i pray you and see that evil this one is seeking for he sent unto me for my wives and for my sons and for my silver and for my gold and i withheld not from him and all the elders and all the people say unto him do not hearken nor consent and he saith to the messengers of ben hadad say to my lord the king all that thou didst send for unto thy servant at the first i do and this thing i am not able to do and the messengers go and take him back word and ben hadad sendeth unto him and saith thus do the gods to me and thus do they add if the dust of samaria suffice for handfuls for all the people who are at my feet and the king of israel answereth and saith speak ye 
let not him who is girding on boast himself as him who is loosing his armor and it cometh to pass at the hearing of this word and he is drinking he and the kings in the booths that he saith unto his servants set yourselves and they set themselves against the city and lo a certain prophet hath come nigh unto ahab king of israel and saith thus said jehovah hast thou seen all this great multitude lo i am giving it into thy hand to-day and thou hast known that i am jehovah and ahab saith by whom and he saith thus said jehovah by the young men of the heads of the provinces and he saith who doth direct the battle and he saith thou and he inspecteth the young men of the heads of the provinces and they are two hundred two and thirty and after them he hath inspecteth the whole of the people all the sons of israel seven thousand and they go out at noon and ben hadad is drinking drunk in the booths he and the kings the thirty and two kings helping him and the young men of the heads of the provinces go out at the first and ben hadad sendeth and they declare to him saying men have come out of samaria and he saith if for peace they have come out catch them alive and if for battle they have come out alive catch them and these have gone out of the city the young men of the heads of the provinces and the force that is after them and smite each his man and aram fleeth and israel pursueth them and ben hadad king of aram escapeth on a horse and the horsemen and the king of israel goeth out and smiteth the horses and the charioteers and hath smitten among the arameans a great smiting and the prophet cometh nigh unto the king of israel and saith to him go strengthen thyself and know and see that which thou dost for at the turn of the year the king of aram is coming up against thee and the servants of the king of aram said unto him gods of hills are their gods therefore they were stronger than we and yet we fight with them in the plain are we not stronger than they and this thing do thou turn aside the kings each out of his place and set captains in their stead and thou number to thee a force as the force that is fallen from thee and horse for horse and chariot for chariot and we fight with them in the plain are we not stronger than they and he hearkeneth to their voice and doth so and it cometh to pass at the turn of the year that ben hadad inspecteth the arameans and goeth up to aphek to battle with israel and the sons of israel have been inspected and supported and go to meet them and the sons of israel encamp before them like two flocks of goats and the arameans have filled the land and there cometh nigh a man of god and speaketh unto the king of israel and saith thus said jehovah because that the arameans have said god of hills is jehovah and he is not god of valleys i have given the whole of this great multitude into thy hand and ye have known that i am jehovah and they encamp one over against another seven days and it cometh to pass on the seventh day that the battle draweth near and the sons of israel smite aram a hundred thousand footmen in one day and those left flee to aphek unto the city and the wall falleth on twenty and seven chief men who are left and ben hadad hath fled and cometh in unto the city into the innermost part and his servants say unto him lo we pray thee we have heard that the kings of the house of israel that they are kind kings let us put we pray thee sackcloth on our loins and ropes on our heads and we go out unto the king of israel it may be he doth keep thee alive and they gird sackcloth on their loins and ropes are on their heads and they come in unto the king of israel and say thy servant ben hadad hath said let me live i pray thee and he saith is he yet alive he is my brother and the men observe diligently and hasten and catch it from him and say thy brother ben hadad and he saith go ye in bring him and ben hadad cometh out unto him and he causeth him to come up on the chariot and he saith unto him the cities that my father took from thy father i give back 
and streets thou dost make for thee in damascus as my father did in samaria and i with a covenant send thee away and he maketh with him a covenant and sendeth him away and a certain man of the sons of the prophets said unto his neighbour by the word of jehovah smite me i pray thee and the man refuseth to smite him and he saith to him because that thou hast not hearkened to the voice of jehovah lo thou art going from me and the lion hath smitten thee and he goeth from him and the lion findeth him and smiteth him and he findeth another man and saith smite me i pray thee and the man smiteth him smiting and wounding and the prophet goeth and standeth for the king on the way and disguiseth himself with ashes on his eyes and it cometh to pass the king is passing by that he hath cried unto the king and saith thy servant went out into the midst of the battle and lo a man hath turned aside and bringeth in unto me a man and saith keep this man if he be at all missing then hath thy life been for his life or a talent of silver thou dost weigh out and it cometh to pass thy servant is working hither and thither and he is not and the king of israel saith unto him right is thy judgment thou hast determined it and he hasteth and turneth aside the ashes from off his eyes and the king of israel discerneth him that he is of the prophets and he saith unto him thus said jehovah because thou hast sent away the man i devoted out of thy hand even thy life hath been for his life and thy people for his people and the king of israel goeth unto his house sulky and wroth and cometh in to samaria chapter twenty one and it cometh to pass after these things a vineyard hath been to naboth the jezreelite that is in jezreel near the palace of ahab king of samaria and ahab speaketh unto naboth saying give to me thy vineyard and it is to me for a garden of green herbs for it is near by my house and i give to thee in its stead a better vineyard than it if good in thine eyes i give to thee silver its price and naboth saith unto ahab far be it from me by jehovah by giving the inheritance of my fathers to thee and ahab cometh in unto his house sulky and wroth because of the word that naboth the jezreelite hath spoken unto him when he saith i do not give to thee the inheritance of my fathers and he lieth down on his bed and turneth round his face and hath not eaten bread and jezebel his wife cometh in unto him and speaketh unto him what is this thy spirit sulky and thou art not eating bread and he saith unto her because i speak unto naboth the jezreelite and say to him give to me thy vineyard for money or if thou desire i give to thee a vineyard in its stead and he saith i do not give to thee my vineyard and jezebel his wife saith unto him thou now dost execute rule over israel rise eat bread and let thy heart be glad i do give to thee the vineyard of naboth the jezreelite and she writeth letters in the name of ahab and sealeth with his seal and sendeth the letters unto the elders and unto the freemen who are in his city those dwelling with naboth and she writeth in the letters saying proclaim a fast and cause naboth to sit at the head of the people and cause two men sons of worthlessness to sit over against him and they testify of him saying thou hast blessed god and melech and they have brought him out and stoned him and he dieth and they send unto jezebel saying naboth was stoned and is dead and it cometh to pass at jezebel's hearing that naboth hath been stoned and is dead that jezebel saith unto ahab rise possess the vineyard of naboth the jezreelite that he refused to give to thee for money for naboth is not alive but dead and it cometh to pass at ahab's hearing that naboth is dead that ahab riseth to go down unto the vineyard of naboth the jezreelite to possess it and the word of jehovah is unto elijah the tishbite saying rise go down to meet ahab king of israel who is in samaria 
lo in the vineyard of naboth whither he hath gone down to possess it and thou hast spoken unto him saying thus said jehovah hast thou murdered and also possessed and thou hast spoken unto him saying thus said jehovah in the place where the dogs licked the blood of naboth do the dogs lick thy blood even thine and ahab saith unto elijah hast thou found me o mine enemy and he saith i have found because of thy selling thyself to do the evil thing in the eyes of jehovah lo i am bringing in unto thee evil and have taken away thy posterity and cut off to ahab those sitting on the wall and restrained and left in israel and given up thy house like the house of jeroboam son of nebat and like the house of baasha son of ahijah for the provocation with which thou hast provoked me and dost cause israel to sin and also of jezebel hath jehovah spoken saying the dogs do eat jezebel in the bulwark of jezreel him who dieth of ahab in a city do the dogs eat and him who dieth in a field do fowl of the heavens eat surely there hath none been like ahab who sold himself to do the evil thing in the eyes of jehovah whom jezebel his wife hath moved and he doth very abominably to go after the idols according to all that the amorite did whom jehovah dispossessed from the presence of the sons of israel and it cometh to pass at ahab's hearing these words that he rendeth his garments and putteth sackcloth on his flesh and fasteth and lieth in sackcloth and goeth gently and the word of jehovah is unto elijah the tishbite saying hast thou seen that ahab hath been humbled before me because that he hath been humbled before me i bring not the evil in his days in the days of his son i bring in the evil on his house chapter twenty two and they sit still three years there is no war between aram and israel and it cometh to pass in the third year that jehoshaphat king of judah cometh down unto the king of israel and the king of israel saith unto his servants have ye not known that ours is ramoth gilead and we are keeping silent from taking it out of the hand of the king of aram and he saith unto jehoshaphat dost thou go with me to battle to ramoth gilead and jehoshaphat saith unto the king of israel as i am so thou as my people so thy people as my horses so thy horses and jehoshaphat saith unto the king of israel seek i pray thee to-day the word of jehovah and the king of israel gathereth the prophets about four hundred men and saith unto them do i go against ramoth gilead to battle or do i forbear and they say go up and the lord doth give it into the hand of the king and jehoshaphat saith is there not here a prophet of jehovah besides and we seek by him and the king of israel saith unto jehoshaphat yet one man to seek jehovah by him and i have hated him for he doth not prophesy concerning me good but evil micaiah son of imla and jehoshaphat saith let not the king say so and the king of israel calleth unto a certain eunuch and saith hasten micaiah son of imla and the king of israel and jehoshaphat king of judah are sitting each on his throne clothed with garments in a threshing floor at the opening of the gate of samaria and all the prophets are prophesying before them and zedekiah son of canaanah maketh for himself horns of iron and saith thus said jehovah by these thou dost push the arameans till they are consumed and all the prophets are prophesying so saying go up to ramoth gilead and prosper and jehovah hath given it into the hand of the king and the messenger who hath gone to call micaiah hath spoken unto him saying lo i pray thee the words of the prophets with one mouth are good towards the king let it be i pray thee thy word as the word of one of them and thou hast spoken good and micaiah saith jehovah liveth surely that which jehovah saith unto me it i speak and he cometh in unto the king and the king saith unto him 
Micaiah, do we go unto Ramoth Gilead to battle, or do we forbear? And he saith unto him, Go up and prosper, and Jehovah hath given it into the hand of the king. And the king saith unto him, ah, How many times am I adjuring thee that thou speak nothing unto me but truth in the name of Jehovah? And he saith, I have seen all Israel scattered on the hills as sheep that have no shepherd, and Jehovah saith, These have no master, they turn back each to his house in peace. And the king of Israel saith unto Jehoshaphat, Have I not said unto thee, He doth not prophesy of me good, but evil? And he saith, Therefore hear a word of Jehovah. I have seen Jehovah sitting on his throne, and all the host of the heavens standing by him, on his right and on his left. And Jehovah saith, Who doth entice Ahab? And he doth go up and fall in Ramoth Gilead. And this one saith thus, and that one is saying thus. And the spirit goeth out, and standeth before Jehovah, and saith, I, I do entice him. And Jehovah saith unto him, By what? And he saith, I go out, and have been a spirit of falsehood in the mouth of all his prophets. And he saith, Thou dost entice, and also thou art able. Go out and do so. And now, lo, Jehovah hath put a spirit of falsehood in the mouth of all these thy prophets, and Jehovah hath spoken concerning thee evil. And Zedekiah son of Canaanah draweth nigh, and smiteth Micaiah on the cheek, and saith, Where is this? He hath passed over, the Spirit of Jehovah, from me to speak with thee. And Micaiah saith, Lo, thou art seeing on that day, when thou goest into the innermost chamber to be hidden. And the king of Israel saith, Take Micaiah, and turn him back unto Ammon head of the city, and unto Joash son of the king. And thou hast said, Thus said the king, Place ye this one in the house of restraint, and cause him to eat bread of oppression and water of oppression till my coming in peace. And Micaiah saith, If thou at all return in peace, Jehovah hath not spoken by me. And he saith, Hear, O peoples, all of them. And the king of Israel goeth up, and Jehoshaphat king of Judah, to Ramoth Gilead. And the king of Israel saith unto Jehoshaphat to disguise himself, and to go into battle. And thou, put on thy garments. And the king of Israel disguiseth himself, and goeth into battle. And the king of Aram commanded the heads of the charioteers whom he hath, thirty and two, saying, You do not fight with small or with great, but with the king of Israel by himself. And it cometh to pass, at the heads of the charioteers seeing Jehoshaphat, that they said, He is only the king of Israel! And they turn aside to him to fight, and Jehoshaphat crieth out. And it cometh to pass, at the heads of the charioteers seeing that he is not the king of Israel, that they turn back from after him. And a man hath drawn with a bow, in his simplicity, and smiteth the king of Israel between the joinings and the coat of mail, and he saith to his charioteer, Turn thy hand, and take me out from the camp, for I have become sick. And the battle increaseth on that day, and the king hath been caused to stand in the chariot over against Aram, and he dieth in the evening, and the blood of the wound runneth out unto the midst of the chariot. And he causeth the cry to pass over through the camp, at the going in of the sun, saying, Each unto his city and each unto his land. And the king dieth, and cometh into Samaria, and they bury the king in Samaria. And one rinseth the chariot by the pool of Samaria, and the dogs lick his blood, when the armor they had washed, according to the word of Jehovah that he spake. And the rest of the matters of Ahab, and all that he did, and the house of ivory that he built, and all the cities that he built, are they not written on the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel? And Ahab lieth with his fathers, and Ahaziah his son reigneth in his stead. And Jehoshaphat son of Asa hath reigned over Judah in the fourth year of Ahab king of Israel. Jehoshaphat is a son of thirty and five years in his reigning, 
and twenty and five years he hath reigned in jerusalem and the name of his mother is azuba daughter of shilhi and he walketh in all the way of asa his father he hath not turned aside from it to do that which is right in the eyes of jehovah only the high places have not turned aside yet are the people sacrificing and making perfume in high places and jehoshaphat maketh peace with the king of israel and the rest of the matters of jehoshaphat and his might that he got and with which he fought are they not written on the book of the chronicles of the kings of judah and the remnant of the whoremongers who were left in the days of asa his father he took away out of the land and there is no king in edom he set up a king jehoshaphat made ships at tarshish to go to ophir for gold and they went not for the ships were broken in Ezion geber then said ahaziah son of ahab unto jehoshaphat let my servants go with thy servants in the ships and jehoshaphat was not willing and jehoshaphat lieth with his fathers and is buried with his fathers in the city of david his father and jehoram his son reigneth in his stead ahaziah son of ahab hath reigned over israel in samaria in the seventeenth year of jehoshaphat king of judah and reigneth over israel two years and doth the evil thing in the eyes of jehovah and walketh in the way of his father and in the way of his mother and in the way of jeroboam son of nebat who caused israel to sin and serveth the baal and boweth himself to it and provoketh jehovah god of israel according to all that his father had done the end of the first book of the kings recording by mark penfold